Hi, and a very good day to all my friends, uh, my viewers. Uh, I would like to, before I tell you what we are doing today, I would like to thank you all uh, for uh, all your kind compliments, your uh, comments that I keep uh, receiving. And I would especially like to thank uh, my younger audience, my uh, younger viewers, uh, who almost made me feel like an international mom. Uh, teaching everyone to cook and I really appreciate that and anything that I can do for you anything that you would like to learn please let me know and uh, uh, without further delay let's start we're going to do a chicken biryani today chicken biryani is become almost an international dish now like I say cuisines have cross borders uh, and uh, become international so uh, really chicken biryani everyone knows about chicken biryani now biryani is a very festive uh, and a very traditional dish uh, back home and it's uh, it's done with a lot of effort it can be extremely complicated i have tried to give you the the least complicated easier version but it still takes a little time 45 minutes to an hour total cooking time and i'm going to in my brief time try to give you a gist of how you're going to do it the recipe will be posted on my blog so please if you get confused you can go there let's start with the ingredients you will need two cups of basmati rice, long grain basmati rice or long grain rice if you don't have access to basmati but please make sure you get old rice, aged rice because the, 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 the aged rice always takes uh, longer to cook, it, it keeps its shape better, it will not break and for biryani we like the rice uh, cooked whole, nice and long, this is the, this is the dish that I have prepared. Uh, to show you and okay this rice is going to be boiled uh, in six six cups of six to eight cups of water boiling hot water and then you add two bay leaves there is three cloves and five black peppers all this uh, plus two teaspoons heap teaspoons of salt you add to six to eight cups of boiling water you add the rice you boil it three minutes hard boil three minutes uh, on high and then you will immediately strain it, put it through a strainer and you will uh, wash it, rinse it with running cold water and this is it. I boil the rice to make our, uh, our uh, to save time. So the rice is ready here, we will use it when the time comes. Other ingredients for the rice uh, is chicken of course, uh, this is one pound of chicken, half a chicken, use chicken with bone, it will give you better taste. And if you need to add some boneless, you can add to that. This is a paste that I have prepared with these ingredients. There is a medium onion. There is an inch of uh, ginger. Four cloves of garlic. One green chilli. Now, I did not put one green chilli. I put half of it. You can put less than half. You can omit. But it does give you a nice taste. If you remove the seeds, it will not be spicy and hot. This is a tablespoon uh, of... A uh, heap tablespoon of coconut desiccated, dry desiccated coconut, unsweetened. And this is two teaspoons of coriander, dry coriander powder. And this is half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Now chili powder you can do half to one teaspoon according to your taste. If you don't like it spicy, use the whole green chili and this. Otherwise you can reduce. Now we'll set this aside because I have already prepared the paste for you with half cup of uh, water. You have to add half a quarter, quarter cup of water. Try quarter. If it doesn't work, add some more. Half to quarter cup of water. And this is the paste you will get. I already prepared the paste. There's an onion, one whole onion here, chopped fine. Half, tea, half cup of yogurt, uh, uh, beaten with some oil. Um, half teaspoon of garam masala. Half, uh, one, uh, two teaspoons of cashews, cashew powder or uh, sesame powder or almond powder if you don't like it nothing at all this is salt this is quarter teaspoon of cardamom this is rose essence rose essence rose water is both good this is food coloring these are all optional but they do give it a flavor and without uh, further delay we'll start we'll come to the stove cooking oil of course four tablespoon of cooking oils oil i'm going to put my cooking oil in the uh, container and start in the cooking oil we're going to add our onion this is the onion that we have prepared chopped fine chopped one onion 
and we're just going to saute this a couple of minutes, few seconds, and we're going to. And like I said once again, cuisines have cross borders, and therefore, then any argument over uh, whether it is a dish from so and so country or so and so is really irrelevant because just like we left our countries and made our homes elsewhere. So has our cuisine and we should be feel, feel happy and honored when other people like dishes from our part of the world and we should appreciate that. And uh, cooking should be a pleasure and a welcome hobby for everyone. I'm going to add the paste and just show you how to it's going to mix and this is going to now cook for about 7 to 8 minutes and I'm just going to add little water. Uh, as I fry it. I'm just going to fry it on high heat, medium high heat. Uh, so in five, in, sorry, in eight minutes, this is how my uh, masala, I call it, the spices have become. As you can see, the color has changed. Uh, and the way to see is without burning yourself with, with the steam, I just smell and I can tell if you don't smell the raw garlic, onion, and if it smells good, it's done. I have, uh, so I fried it on medium, medium to high heat for about um, 8 minutes, exactly 8 minutes. I am now going to add the chicken, this is the chicken, avoid touching a raw chicken as much as you can and once you touch it please wash your hands, be very careful, it can be dangerous to touch your chicken and then touch other things or uh, touch your body without washing. Uh, okay. So I'm going to fry this for about five minutes. So after frying five minutes, this is how the chicken is. As you can see, it looks it looks yummy. Okay. Now while frying the the spices and then the chicken, I have used about a, a cup of water. Uh, you have to use water as you fry to avoid burning. Uh, there is no uh, fixed amount, but I kept I kept sprinkling water as you can see little little at a time to make sure you don't overdo it and, and then you, as you need as needed okay now we are going to add our yogurt this is a half cup of yogurt uh, mixed with uh, just beaten with half cup half about a teaspoon of oil like you always say it, it, uh, it will the yogurt will not uh, curdle it won't break it stays nice and smooth in your cooking this is the two teaspoons of cashews the cashew nuts that I ground and I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to add the salt, about a teaspoon of salt I'm going to put and I'm going to mix that, mix that and I'm going to add about half cup of water. We'll do a rinse so that our um, yogurt doesn't waste. About half cup water, it's not more than that because yogurt is going to have some water also it's going to make the thing watery and I'm just going to cover it let it boil cover it and cook it on medium heat about 10 minutes so this is how the meat looks uh, after 10 minutes of cooking on medium as you can see there's a lot more oil than we started with because every meat has its own oil and while it's cooking the oil will come out but anyway this is all ready this is, the, this is what's going to give our biryani the real flavor this is the rice, I, which we just have to give finishing touches. This is the rice that we boiled. We boiled uh, with the bay leaf, with the clove, the uh, uh, salt and black pepper, whole black pepper. I'm going to spread it. I lowered the stove for a while. Uh, I'm going to spread this on the, on the thing. I'm not mixing it. As you notice, there's no mixing. And uh, the one thing I want you to notice is that there is no pre-mixed spice here. I have not uh, added anything that, uh, this is garam masala, this is garam masala powder. I'm just going to sprinkle that. You can, you can sprinkle it on top or you can add it to the chicken before you put the rice. I just put it on top. Um, this is uh, the cardamom powder, quarter teaspoon. Um, I'm going to just Sprinkle a little salt to make sure that biryani has enough salt. But that's totally optional. We're going to we're going to add uh, our. I microwaved 
melted two tablespoons of butter. Uh, you can you can use butter, clarified butter, which is uh, which is the ghee or a regular unsalted butter, and just a small pinch of orange color. You can use the orange food color, the liquid food color from the supermarket. It really doesn't have to be the powder. Powder is available in the Asian stores. Uh, we're going to just sprinkle that on top. Drizzle actually. You drizzle it all over, all around. And uh, these are, these are the things that give the biryani its uh, real flavor, rich flavor. But uh, you will notice that this biryani is not as rich as the the traditional and the one you buy. Okay, about half teaspoon of uh, rose essence. This is essence. If you are using rose water, you can use about a, about a tea uh, about a teaspoon. Yeah, uh, this is water. Half cup of water. I'm I I have increased the stove to high. It's going to be like that, high, medium, high for 5 minutes and then I'll reduce it to low, very low for 15 minutes and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cover it. Traditionally, back home when we are cooking biryani to, so that the steam from the rice will be absorbed and not fall, fall back on the rice to make the rice soft and break it, we use some cloth, we will use a dish cloth like a clean kitchen towel but we have to be innovative here. I have just used paper towel, two uh, double layer of paper towel so that your lid is tight and closed. As you can see, there is always a hole for the steam here. We want to close that because this rice is now going to steam. So about five minutes on medium and you will see the steam coming out and then I'm going to reduce it and then let it cook on in 50, 15 minutes on just simmer. So 20 minutes later, uh, let's open this together. First thing we do is remove the, the paper towel, leave it. Now, usually I would leave it standing here for about 10 minutes before I mix and fluff the rice because it needs that time to rest. But I'm going to open this and show you. This is the finished product. As you can see, looks very appetizing, ready. I left it on uh, medium 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 low for about um, five minutes and then on low low simmer if you make it a little higher it will start burning now the purpose I'm just going to dish out some to show you that looks exactly like the one on the table uh, the purpose of uh, there we go purpose of um, adding the water as you can see this is the one I cooked earlier and I'm serving it with the chicken kebabs that I gave, uh, uh, there's a recipe that I gave for this earlier with some yogurt and some chutney and uh, it's an excellent meal if you have company coming add a lot of salad and this is it. Now the water we add is to fluff the rice more as you can see still nice and whole fluffed and ready. Uh, those of you who have access to a little uh, fried onion you can sprinkle that otherwise there's no need it's ready yummy and enjoy please do let me know how you liked it and i'll see you soon